Hello and welcome back everyone to the Powder Toy. So last time we went ahead and we looked at ambient air temperature, where we went ahead and threw something onto the sun. But today I want to go a little bit further and I want to simulate the, <laughs> the advance of the heat of a supernova smacking into the earth. Oh yes, you say, that is a very average thing to test. I, why why wouldn't we do that? Good idea, and I applaud you for agreeing with my good idea. I'm just gonna do that so that we can just get rid of the, uh, I guess so that we can undo because we're going to go ahead and we're gonna set this to 9,999, the hottest I can go. And we're gonna watch what happens if we give zero protection to the Earth. As you can see, the heat is coming in from the outside, which is our supernova smacking into the planet. And over time, we're going to notice that as the energy impacts the planet, well, it's getting a little bit toasty, isn't it? I mean, by a little bit toasty, I mean it's it is literally turning that mountain into, oh, the, oh, oh. So we got kind of a slow motion going here, although it's it's not really that slow. I mean, the entire ocean is just boiling away a few seconds later. Uh, we got basically good good penetration here into the core of the planet, already getting to insane temperatures in the tip of the planet. The highest point is now at over 500 degrees. Uh, yeah, things are heating up. Would you look at that? Now, this is exactly what we expected to happen. Uh, the planet is getting barraged by just insane amounts of energy and heat and is going to eventually just turn into a soup, which I can help speed up that process a little bit uh, by actually what I should have done initially is if we go ahead and put some fans to make it come from one side, uh, we can go like this, and we will see as the supernova, yeah, you can see the effectiveness of that. Um, as the supernova impacts the planet, wow! Okay, that is totally what I should have done initially. I should have had a fan there. Holy guacamole, it doesn't, it doesn't just melt the planet, it absolutely annihilates it. Look at it go. That is insane. Yeah. Uh, that's quite warm. Well, now we see what happens with no defenses. Um, and I'm just gonna redo this, actually. Oh, shoot! I messed up. Okay, that's fine. I messed up, but that's alright. We'll just cut the planet out again. Do this again. Put it in the center again. Do something meaningless. Oh. See, this is this is where the mistake happens. Okay, so what I have to do is I gotta put this here. Yes. And then I have it go this way. To simulate our supernova. Very nice. And then uh 9999. And then we're gonna save this uh, as before before Nova. Why? So that I can go back to it easily. So we'll see now what happens if we let the Nova happen. Yes, very, very, very quick death and destruction as the supernova smacks into the surface of the planet and just absolutely obliterates it. Very nice. I like how the deuterium comes out and tries to defend the planet, but it really has no chance. All right, so now that we have this set up, we're going to try to see if we can defend the, defend the planet. Yep, we're going to try our best using a variety of different strategies. So my first strategy is going to be really dumb. But that's okay. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn the planet into a stamp. So that I can stamp it. I believe K allows you to go to your stamps. Yes. Now we're going to delete the planet and we're going to build a dome to protect the planet. My first design is going to literally just uh, deal with the fact that the heat is coming. Um, we're going to see if putting a little bit of freeze powder 
will do literally anything to protect the planet. I'm aware that it probably won't, but I'm curious. This should probably just melt away pretty much immediately. Uh, but let's go ahead and give it a few seconds of simulation time. There we go, the ambient heat is already... I wish I could, like, have a heat display up and normal display at the same time. So we have impact. And as you can see, that initial wave of heat has actually been avoided. Um, that's kind of impressive. Uh, the freeze powder is heating up and having a little bit of trouble dealing with this, but it's keeping the titanium cool-ish. Wow, did not expect it to hold out for even like a few seconds, but no, we got, we got a few seconds before that titanium has begun to uh, break meltdown and then uh, a few seconds later the second layer goes through and then uh, we have absolute collapse and those defenses we built have been utterly lost isn't that sad okay but honestly that worked better than i had expected <laughs> So we're going to go ahead and we're going to just do one additional layer. We're going to put an insulation layer. Yeah, that's right. Insulation, the thing that you all were probably shouting that I should do in the first place. Well, guess what? Now, now I did it. So you can't complain anymore. If only that's how the world worked. When you do the proper thing, nobody is allowed to complain ever again. Hmm. All right. Go ahead and put the planet in. It barely fits now. All right, Supernova is going to impact in three, two, one. Yes, the insulation is very, very effective, as you can see. However, somehow, he is still getting through. I thought insulation kind of worked perfectly in this game. I'm... I'm shocked. What is going on? Really? It's... He is getting through. I don't know how, but look at that. The titanium is actually heating up. I, I thought this would actually be... I thought I was going to have to set the outer layer on fire manually. Wow, look at that pressure. I'm curious what's going to happen now. This titanium is heating up, but will it hit the temperature required in order for it to melt? Or will the freeze powder just hold on? Hmm. Very interesting. But it's a supernova. So realistically, we should have a little bit of material coming out as well which I'm going to simulate with a single clone set to plasma. And as you can see, once we mix plasma into the mix, uh, well, that insulation burns away very quickly. And after the insulation burns away, hoo hoo hoo! Yeah. Yeah. Didn't have much time at all, did we? So yes, if there was just ambient heat coming through, that would have actually been a good way to defend. However, realistically, it's not going to just be ambient heat coming through, which means death. Which we'll go ahead and just simulate by just plopping a single clone here, and we'll just put the plasma on. We by default. Whoops. Uh, I probably shouldn't have a pressed play. There we go. Okay, so now we'll save this again. Fantastic. All right, so let's try to come up with an even better system. <laughs> even better system. So, we're going to need a layer to defend against the plasma onslaught. I think the strongest material I could use for that, other than diamond, is going to be quartz. We'll do a rather thick shell here. After that, we're going to use our friend colloids to try to deal with it. Uh, because colloids don't really get destroyed in the same way as other elements. They're kind of, like, gooey. 
are pretty good at defense. Then we're going to have something to deal with the temperature, which is going to be our good friend's titanium, because it's a good conductor. It's really challenging to tell... Uh, good enough. Alright, so we have our titanium layer. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to get our freeze powder, which is going to be responsible for cooling as much as we possibly can. That, that's pretty cool, haha. <laughs> funny. Very funny. Alright, we're gonna make this pretty thick. We're gonna do another layer of titanium for cooling purposes. Then we're going to do a layer of insulation for insulative purposes, obviously. And then we're going to grab the planet, which hopefully still fits. Oh God. Okay, we're gonna have to make some sacrifices here. <laughs> um, you know what? Um, here's the plan. I've got a plan. I'm gonna make a sticker out of this. Mm-hmm. Gonna delete it. We're gonna, we're gonna restart. And we're gonna... Oh, nope, that's not what I want. I want this. And then we're gonna put this on top. Boom. Sure, we had to cut off, like, some buildings and stuff. But who needs buildings anyways? Three, two, one. Onslaught. So the colloid is actually fighting. The quartz is getting warm, but the colloids and the freeze powder, everything is working together. That plasma beam that's coming out, though, is definitely doing some damage. Although, I'd like to say... Really? It's actually holding up against the ambient heat. Um, that is impressive. That is pretty damn impressive. Although, that plasma beam is just tearing straight through. So on its own, I think this would actually be able to survive um, if there wasn't the plasma beam here. But that that plasma beam shot is doing a lot of damage. Plasma is just nasty, nasty, nasty. Here it comes back again. It's about to it's about to put a hole in it. Oh, we have titanium melting, but the freeze powder is working very hard to fix that titanium and get it solid again. I mean, of course, honestly, the, the colloid layer is doing better than the titanium layer at holding its own. As long as there's pressure, which there is because this is getting blown in from one direction, the colloid layer is really defending against that plasma. Uh, the colloids may be the most useful thing so far. The insulation isn't burning because there's no space for it to burn. So as long as this holds as it is, I mean, this this is not looking very good with the uh, titanium. Oh no, the colloid layer fell. Oh, and we have a huge collapse. But notice that half of the world is still safe. Let's try to save half of the world. I've got a plan. I've got a plan, Stan. Ready? This is my plan. New colloid layer. Boom. Get some insulation on there. Boom. Oh! Okay. It kind of liquefied the world a little bit by removing gravity, but... Will it at least survive? <laughs> Even if it got liquefied. Um... I mean, it's making it longer than I would have anticipated. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it's over. It's, it's over. Any second now. Any second now. The last life is going to be absolutely destroyed. Or will it? The deuterium is actually forming a shield. Thank you, deuterium. Uh, no, this is, yeah, goodbye. Whoosh. Oh my god. Alright, well, I think I have uh, set out a challenge now. 
Can you, without using diamond or cheating materials that are invincible, manage to make something that will protect? All you have to do is set the ambient heat and put a little bit of plasma clone. Uh, can you defend the Earth from absolute annihilation? If you manage, let me know. Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Very exciting stuff. Very exciting indeed. Wow. Thanks for watching. If you want to support me, consider liking, subscribing, or maybe even becoming my fourth patron. Yeah, Patreon not doing the best right now, not gonna lie, but uh, to be fair, neither is the channel. <laughs> shh, shh, child, it's all going to be okay. Because if you share the video, we will become billionaires together. It'll be fantastic. Thank you. See you all next time. Peace out.